Hello and welcome to Encore 55 Plus Learning Program. We are very excited you've landed on our homepage and we look forward to teaching you via this video how to register for Encore Campus Fridays, Encore on the Go, and Neighborhood Scholars. So let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm going to share my screen. So on the main homepage, you're going to have a lot of different functionalities. One of which is obviously registering for the classes, but before we do that, we want to make sure that you 1st, obtain your student number. In order to do that, you need to complete our online registration form. So, on the main page, you're going to scroll down. To register now, and you're going to create a profile here. If you are looking to update a profile, you've been a student um, within the last year, you can click on update profile. But in order to create a profile, you're going to click on it. You're going to put in your full name and your email address. And then you're going to create a password and then click. I'm not a robot and create an account. I'm not going to go on from here, but you will be putting in your contact information. So you will put your contact information as well as your social security number and your date of birth. You'll answer some residency questions and some demographic questions. Then you'll accept some terms and conditions and you'll go ahead and submit your application. You will get an email from the very beginning that says that your application has been submitted or we've received it. After 24 to 48 hours, you will receive your student number via email. It'll be the same type of email that was sent with your acceptance. You will use that S number and this password that you created in order to register for classes. Okay, so now we're ready. We have our student number and our password. Let's go ahead and let's get registered for Encore. So we're going to go back here to the home page. So right now we're going to learn how to register for a bundle. I will show you fairly quickly how to register for individual classes, but when we go, we're going to go ahead and we're going to register for our Western Campus Bundle. So we're going to go here to Campus Fridays and we're going to click on the Western Campus. When we're there, we're going to choose the bundle we'd like to register for. Those buttons happen to be green. Let's go ahead and let's register for spring. Okay, so one thing to make sure we have our student number and our password right in front of us. And we also have our selections from the catalog. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make sure that we're registering for spring Western campus on Fridays. These are the specific dates and $99. The $99 is for the entire program. We can register for up to six classes. So if you just choose one, it's 99 two, three, et cetera, up to six classes, it's $99. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click add to cart. When we do that, we need to choose the classes that we would like to register for. My job right now is gonna be very difficult because I didn't write down any of the classes I wanna register for. Yours will be much easier because you'll have that written down. But if you look, if you have the uh, reference number, the CRN, we can search for it there. We can also search by the title. Okay, so what I'm going to go right now is I'm just going to go ahead and start choosing some classes and hope that I don't have any conflicts. You can see here, though, that I am able to register for six classes. This number here will tell me how many classes I've registered for so far. And this number here will tell me how many I have remaining. So if I click here, you can see I've registered for one and I have five left. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. Please watch your eyes because I will be scrolling fairly fast because we have a lot of offerings for everybody. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to select some classes here. Okay, I've got all my classes that I'd like to register for. I'm going to choose this one too. And I'm going to click continue. When I do that, it is going to come to my checkout page. At my checkout page, I'm going to confirm all of the classes that I've registered for. So you can see that I have the Western Campus Bundle. It's $99 and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 classes that I'd like to register for. If I need to update any of my classes, I'm going to click here, Update Bundled Courses. Once I do that, it'll bring me back to the previous screen. 
if for instance i'd like to register for something else maybe i'd like to register for canalway tours in the search box up here i'm going to type in canal way tours it is case sensitive or writing sensitive so if you misspell it incorrectly you can see you will not get a choice so we're just going to put in canal my guess is canal way there we go i put in tours so that's why it didn't come up so i'd like to register for canal way tour so i'm going to click on there and you can see i have four options april 15th and april 29th you think to yourself well why do i have two options here if i click the plus sign you'll see that this one is from 10 to 1130 and if i click this plus sign you can see this one is from 1 to 2 30. okay so i once i choose which section i'd like i'm going to go ahead and click add to cart this is the process that you would follow if you're looking to register for one single class you can go to our website and have that option as well by just clicking on the course name so i'm going to either keep shopping which means i want to continually add courses or i want to check out right now i'm good so i'd like to check out again i'm going to go and confirm my cart got my 99 dollar bundle and i've got my 20 dollar canalway tour so my total is 119 dollars i'm going to go ahead and check out this is the point where you need your student number if you did not obtain your student number previously you need to complete the right hand side by clicking continue which will take you to the registration form i showed you in the very beginning but we're all set we've obtained our s number and we have our password and again the password is the password that you established right when you completed the application so we're going to go ahead and click continue when we do that we have a verification point this is called our authentication when we complete our authentication we do need to make sure that we have our cell phone with us our cell phone is the way that we are going to be able to obtain a number to be able to get into the system so at this point right now the email address that you need to use is your s number email so you're going to type in your s number i believe it's seven characters you're going to put at a c a d a as an apple c as in cat a as an apple d as in dog dot try t r i dash c dot edu okay so that is your student number at a c a d dot t r i dash c dot edu i'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see those details once you've put in your email, you are then going to enter your password. If you are like me, you have an authentication app and that application will have a number be put on the screen, which we'll see in a couple minutes. If you do not have that option, you can use the other options that are provided. They are all connected to the profile that you've established with Tri-C. So please make sure that if you use the phone number, the phone number that you're using is the number that the information is going to be sent to. I am not a student, so I need to enter my email address. If you need any assistance with passwords, you can go ahead and click there, but I'm ready and I'm gonna click next. Again, we're gonna put in our password that we established when we first did the application. And we're gonna go ahead and sign in. Again, I have the application, so I am going to go ahead and I'm going to punch in this number on my cell phone. If there were any issues or I did not have the application, I can click, I can't use my Microsoft Authenticator app right now. When I do that, it will provide me different options. I can use the verification code that pops up. I can text myself or I can call myself or I have other options. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna accept the app. Let me type my information in here. And then once I get verified, it's gonna ask me if I'd like to stay signed in. Oh, I got denied because I pressed the button too many times. So let's try this one more time. And we are gonna see what happens. Okay. So let's go back here. And let me go real quick and just go through this process one more time. 
as you can see, it is very a very good system because it locked me out because I did too many different things. So we're going to go ahead in here. We're going to type in our information and this is actually perfect training because you get to see it done again. Okay, so now I've got it and it's not going to get mad at me. Okay, so we've put in all of our information. If you are on a public computer, I would suggest saying no to this. If you're on a personal computer, you can say yes. This is just saying that it's going to keep you signed in. So when we do that, it is then going to bring us to our profile page. We just need to make sure all of our information is correct and you can scroll down to do that. If anything is incorrect, you want to go to my tri -C space to correct it. But I'm good, so I'm going to go ahead and continue checkout. I will then be provided to my payment screen. Again, I'm confirming to make sure everything is correct. I would then go ahead and select credit card. Please realize there is a 2.25% service fee that will be attached to the credit card fee. Um, and if you need to um, verify to make sure that everything has gone through, once we have submitted credit card and accepted the terms and conditions, we're then gonna go to another screen for which I am not gonna do right now. When we go to that screen, you will put in your credit card information, click submit and wait. You will then come to a screen that will look very similar to this one with this information, this coloring up top. That means that you are confirmed and your credit card has gone through and you will receive a receipt, okay? So we have just processed our registration through the Encore platform, which is really exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing and say i hope this video is very helpful we look forward to seeing you at any of our encore 55 plus learning sessions should you have any questions please contact us at 216-987-2274 or you can email us at encore e-n-c-o-r-e -E, at tri-c.edu thank you very much for watching look forward to seeing you soon bye